New Housewives of Salt Lake City star Jen Shaw may be calling a less than lavish jail cell home in the near future, as she's reportedly been sentenced to six and a half years in prison for fraud. While the Bravo reality series originally saw Jen living in what was dubbed the Shaw Chalet, a stunning nearly 9,500 square foot home in Park City, Utah, this was apparently just a rental. After things came crashing down for the disgraced housewife star, in early 2022, Jen was forced to downgrade to the Shaw Chalet 2.0. Another rental costing her about 13K per month, which looked like a smaller version of her former residence and was also located in Park City. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. While Jen Shaw of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City fame was arrested back in March 2021, it's only now that things are getting real. Jen has been accused of conspiracy to commit wire fraud as well as money laundering and her charges stem from her involvement in a long-running telemarketing scam that targeted the elderly and vulnerable, having them lose thousands and thousands of dollars. While the government originally requested 10 years in prison for Jen, her lawyers were seeking a sentencing of three years. More recently, Judge Sidney Stein went for six and a half years. Although with good behavior, Jen could be out in five and a half. Furthermore, Jen was ordered order to forfeit $6.5 million, make a restitution of $6.64 million, and give up over 100 luxury items, 30 which were real and 78 which were counterfeits. When Jen can finally leave prison, she will be subject to five years of supervised release. As you can see, downgrading to that smaller Shaw Chalet about a year ago proved to be the least of Jen's concerns, considering now she's looking at a cell as her main residence. To kick things off, why don't we check out Jen Shaw's former Shaw Chalet, the original one, which was featured prominently on The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. While viewers thought Jen owned the luxury estate, it was later revealed that she simply rented it and the property was owned by a Texas-based real estate company. On the show, notably in season one, Jen Shaw was definitely the breakout star, known for her bold fashion and friendship drama. But while her $4 million estate was just as grand as her, it was also just as much of a fraud. The Shaw Ski Chalet, as it was called, spanned 9,420 square feet of space, and its open plan living spaces were shown often on the Bravo series. Renting a home might not be a big deal to some, but as fans of the Real Housewives franchise know, few things in their world are more shameful than that. Stephen Frey of Univesco, which is the company that owns the mansion, claimed he had no idea that Shaw had been hyping the property as her own on the show. The sprawling chalet-style home was located in Park City, Utah in the Glenwald Club and Spa community, dubbed the crown jewel home of the neighborhood. The mansion was set at the end of a cul-de-sac and overlooking the designer golf course. It popped up for sale once in 2019, but was taken off the market once Jen began renting it. Now it's on the market currently, but the price has risen significantly with an ask of $7.4 million. Rumors that Jen didn't own the home originally started when Real Housewives of Dallas star Brandi Redmond, well, she teased that someone in the Salt Lake City cast was renting. She said, I do know that one of those ladies is renting a house. At the time, Jen shot back on Instagram saying, is this what everyone is getting their G string up their A about because they're irrelevant? Or is it because they wish they could afford to pay this rent plus own four other homes and have an apartment in NY? see. It was never confirmed that Jen owned any of those properties either. While inside Jen's one-time lavish ski lodge, it boasted five bedrooms and eight baths as well as timber frame styles and features like three spacious master suites, each with its own fireplace and living area. Main living areas in the home all offered soaring vaulted ceilings, and the open plan layout was ideal for entertaining. In fact, during an episode of the show, Jen previously bragged that she loved throwing big, over-the-top, extravagant parties at the multi-level home, which has its own wet bar and cozy stone fireplaces. Photos show that the residence was decorated with luxury cream and gray-colored furnishings and windows that overlooked views of the stunning property. Upon first entering the mansion, the entry hall has two levels 
levels and high wood beam ceilings leading into the common areas. The great room is situated directly ahead, offering a handful of sitting areas, a stone fireplace to warm up by, and nearby there's a stone bar and cozy circular dining nook. Also on the main level of the former Shaw Chalet, you'll find an office library, a family room, multiple dining areas, and doors leading to the outdoor space with nearly 360 degree views. The massive kitchen is decked out in wood and marble and boasts a double Viking oven, Viking stove, warming drawer and microwave, built-in sub-zero refrigerator, freezer and double dishwashers. The lavish master suites are set on the main level while the three additional bedrooms that also offer their own en suites are located upstairs. Here there's also a separate guest bathroom and large entertainment games room that overlooks the main entry. We can see one of the master suites had its own living area, animal wall art, and one of the eight fireplaces that are scattered throughout the home. Other rooms in the mansion include a home gym and a wine cellar. The layout of this chalet home was perfectly designed for entertaining friends and family and it's not hard to see why Jen chose to show it off on Real Housewives. Not only did this property provide guests their own private space, it also hosted multiple common rooms to choose from to mingle and spend quality time. Or you know, to film some serious Housewives drama. Outside, the mansion had plenty of patios to unwind, including one with an indoor and outdoor jacuzzi setup overlooking views of the golf course. Finally, the bonuses that living in this abode came with were equally lavish. Not only could you ski in and out to Park City's finest ski track in winter, you could also hike and bike on the Glenwald trails in summer. The property provided exclusive concierge club amenities, which included a 24-hour full-service concierge that had the ability to book you into the finest restaurants and venues, or get you last-minute reservations, a black car service to and from the slopes, or anything else your heart desired. Also included was a VIP entertainment and personal assistance service to help with local planning and management. While the chalet sounded like the best of the best off of TV and in reality, Jen's longtime home was located in Sandy, Utah, which she owned with her husband, University of Utah football coach Sharif Shaw from 2004 until she sold it at a loss in June 2020. They initially purchased the home for only $302,069. It eventually sold for $200,000. $13,000. After moving on from that home, Jen had since moved to what she called Shaw Chalet 2.0, an approximately $8,000 per month rental also in Park City. It kind of looked like a smaller version of the TV mansion. In early 2022, the Real Housewives star decided to open up about her move to the new home. She said at the time, after looking at many, many houses, we finally found something. We're downsizing. It's not 9,000 square feet, it's about half of that. So I would like an A for effort because I'm doing the best I can with what I can do. And on the show's season two premiere, Jen revealed she had moved out of the Shaw Chalet into a new home and said, I love the Shaw Chalet, but like all good things, everything comes to an end, just like our lease did. So we found the next best thing, Shaw Chalet 2.0. Well, this home wasn't too shabby either, and it was valued at over $3 million, boasting five bedrooms, five baths, and about 7,000 square feet throughout. While it was said to be located in a gated community called promontory. The chalet house was built in 2008 and reportedly the main living area of the home. There's a two-story great room with two-story stone fireplace, a vaulted ceilings, and a 25-foot arched window, while the nearby kitchen had stainless steel appliances, including a six-burner stove. Other features in this home are supposed to include a six-person casual dining space, a formal dining room with space for 10, and an upper-level family room, as well as a basement with media room, dining area, and a bar. It was also at the Shaw Chalet 2.0 that Jen was recently arrested. When Bravo released the look at the latest season of The Real Housewives of SLC, it already showed what was about to go down. On the show, when Jen was arrested, the ladies were in a bus leaving for a cast trip. But things quickly went south when Jen picked up a call from her husband. She quickly left and drove back to her rental house. Homeland Security investigators then showed up looking for her while the confused ladies told them she left and then officers were shown outside of Shaw's home saying that they had a search warrant. Well, despite the fact that Jen Shaw's second rental chalet was supposedly a downgrade, I'm sure nothing will prepare this diva for what she's about to face behind bars. It's safe to say that we'll just have to wait and see how things play out for this disgraced housewife star. All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up today's house tour. But before you go, answer me this. How far would you go? 
protect your status or how you are perceived in the public eye. Would you risk it all just to stay one of the privileged? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below because it seems with Jen, she really did go that far and it all backfired. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.